proxy elements will not display unless the proper object enabler is installed. Object enablers should match the version of real DWG that your microstation supports. An example, the real DWG 2023 needs and 23, uh, 2023 object enabler. And that's why um, I mentioned about typing in the version in your key and entry to see what that is. Now, having the object enabler allows you to open the file. Uh, the custom objects will be able to display. As far as editing these objects, they are locked. And it's not suggested that you try to edit. You might try to explode them or uh, drop them in MicroStation. That's not recommended. Custom objects are usually locked when it, the file is open, but the properties for the elements should be ensured. And finally, you are able to save a direct save from opening a file without edit. And in the same version, it should be okay. Now, uh, to determine the object enabler that's required. And sometimes if you open a file, if there are elements missing, or you might see uh, boxes in your file instead of the graphics, uh, we recommend that you click here at the bottom of your uh, information uh, or your status uh, bar below in MicroStation, click on the message center. And when you expand the message center, you should see the message that one or more object enablers are missing. And uh, specifically, in this case, the file that I opened, the uh, Civil 3D object enabler was required. Now, I also showed an example of this um, ATEX or Artex. And, and this is um, basically Artex that was developed. Um, uh, basically, and ATEX is an object enabler that handles Artex and AutoCAD, but it's not delivered with real DWG. Um, if uh, there's a setting in, in an Autodesk product for proxy graphics. If this is turned on in AutoCAD, then the object enabler would save the geometry uh, in this object, which can display correctly in MicroStation, albeit that it's a proxy element. But if in the DWG file, if it was saved without this setting turned on, you might only still get a bounding box, even though you have uh, an object enabler install so wanted to uh, mind those present here of that now um, in your programming features in the control panel uh, you will see um, the version of AutoCAD that's installed on this system is AutoCAD 2022 also you'll see Civil 3D 2022 but if someone were to send me a file uh, from Civil 3D because uh, I have uh, Connect Edition, or if you have the latest version and it supports the 2023 Real DWG, you will need the Object Enabler for 2023. So as you see in this screenshot here, the previously the 2022 was installed, there was a 2022.2, but in order to see the Object Enablers, uh, you have to have the matching or corresponding Object Enabler for real DWG 2023 installed on your system. And you can see once again, screenshot there at the top when I type in version, uh, you see for that, the latest version, update 17.1, real DWG 2023 is present. So the last thing I wanna to touch on is compatibility issues. And the screenshot on the left is from AutoCAD or an Autodesk product. And on the right is from uh, Bentley-based products such as MicroStation. What this is basically saying is if you have an earlier version of, or if you're delivering a file to someone with the earlier version of, let's say, Civil 3D 20, like say 17, you have Real DWG 2023. These alerts are telling you that you can open the file and you can even save it. But if you do, you will now be updating those custom elements, those proxy elements, to a later version. And if you were to supply this file to someone, they may not be able to open that file or they may not be able to see the elements that they previously had seen uh, um, prior. So in most cases, you really want to use these files for only opening if you have this later version. Or you may want to make a copy of the file and then work with the graphics separately. But you don't want to... Um, course, hinder the uh, integrity of those proxy elements. 
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.